So when you're ready for slide seven, let's look at the project guide. And for slide seven, this is simple. All you need is a title called My Future and a snapshot of you 20 years from now. This is only a picture created by drawing it in class using Microsoft Paint. So in Bit class, you can use the Microsoft Paint app that's already on your computer. Or you can draw it online if you're going to use your Chromebook. If you want to work on it this weekend, you could use Sketch.io. You'll also find Sketch.io. It's on my Canvas homepage. So if you go to Bit and you scroll down, you'll see the Sketch or Sketchpad right here. Do you guys see it? It's on my Canvas homepage. You can use Sketchpad. If you want to use Sketchpad on your Chromebook, if you go to my modules, I have a video that shows you how to use Sketchpad. So just go to this Intro to Presentations module, go to the video tutorial, and if you watch this video and you go towards the end, I'm showing you how to draw the picture here. You can see it. So if you want to use Sketchpad, like if you're going to draw it on your Chromebook or something, you can see right here is me showing you how to do it. I show you how to put it into slide seven, your my future. And you can watch that video tutorial if you want to use Sketchpad. So I wanted you to know that's there. But if you're in bit class, what's easiest to use is paint, because I think it's a little easier to draw with your mouse and use your keyboard and stuff than it is with just your fingers on your touchpad. I am not an art teacher. So all I'm looking for is I should be able to look at the picture and tell exactly what you're going to be doing for 20 years from now. This is your career. What do you want to do to make money? So if you look at my example, you know, of course, I'm a computer teacher and I wanted to be a technology teacher and I went on paint and this was the picture I drew. Now, I spent a lot of time on this. I'm not expecting yours to be really intricate like this, but I want you to notice that there's pictures of the constellations and the phases of the moon. If you look on the back of the wall, they're actually up there. I went on to Google and I looked up images of those and I put them on here. So what's cool is you can actually um, use Google images and put them in your painted image to make it look more realistic. So we're gonna look at Leanne's slide seven. Oh, also when you go down here and look at how this is graded, and I'm going to kind of zoom in a little at the bottom. My future has its own category. So slide seven has a detailed. Um, let me reload this real quick. Slide seven has a detailed computer drawn digital image of the student's future. And you'll get four points if I can look at it and tell what you are. I don't care how great it is. If I could say, oh, you want to be a doctor, you want to be a mechanic. You're going to be a professional race car driver. You know, you're going to be a, a business owner. You're going to work in construction. You're going to be an architect. You are, you're going to be a veterinarian. I should be able to look right at that picture and tell. So you get three points if slide seven has a digital image, but it may not be complete or I can't tell what the heck it is. Like, let's say you started, you didn't get it all done, and I can't tell what your career is. You're going to miss a point. Look at this, slide seven. It has a title, but the image is one the student didn't draw. Let's say you want to be a lawyer and you look up a picture of a lawyer and you put it on slide seven. You'll get two points, but you're going to miss two points. You know, you're not going to get these. So if you're in a hurry, I'm just wanting you to know this hand drawn or this digital computer drawn picture is really worth two points, right? As long as you just went to slide seven and put a picture from Google. So if you did everything exactly right, you could still get an A minus on this if you do not draw the picture. But if you have time, let's draw the picture. So I'm going to show you. Um, you go to slide seven in your presentation. You don't need a text box. You only need a title. So if you have a text box here, um, if you have a layout that looks like this and you have a text box, click in the text box click on the text box and hit backspace. So we're going to use paint. So you just go down and type in paint in your search bar. And there it is. And we're going to open it. And when you open paint, right here is your canvas. Now, again, I'm not an art teacher, but all I recommend is using a lot of the tools at the top here to really help you. So I use shapes a lot. 
like here's a circle for a head and I'm going to start to draw a head. Well, that's a little thick. So let's use undo. Undo will be your friend. If you mess up, just hit undo. Let's change the size of that. And I'm not good at drawing legs or feet. So I'm going to just draw the, the head here. And then I'm going to have kind of um, the picture cut off their legs and feet so I don't have to draw them. So then you can go in the corner down here and kind of zoom in and you can start adding details. So I'm still using the circle so I could draw an eye and then I could draw the interior of the eye and then I could even draw a little pupil. And I could go up here and let's say that you had blue eyes. We could click on blue and then I could go up here and choose black and we could fill in the pupil. Now, here's a cool trick. Let's say I don't want to draw another eye. It's not going to look exactly the same. Well, the select button up here will let you select, like draw a square around something to select it. And not only can you just move it around, but you can copy that and then you can paste it and then just drag it over here and you have two eyes. For a nose, I never could draw one, but someone told me to draw like an upside down question mark with a little comma kind of next to it. And you have a nose. And then we'll just put a mouth. And again, I know this isn't going to be perfect, but let's zoom back out. It is scary. Um, when you get up here to brushes, um, you can use a lot of different brushes. So let's say, you know, I had brown hair. I used kind of a crayon here. And what's cool is you guys know your hair is really a bunch of different colors. So I could go up here and edit this color and we can make it a little darker. And then I could hit OK, and I could put a little of that in there. And then I could go up here and edit it, and maybe I make it a little darker and hit OK, and I put a little of that in there. And we can kind of get some, you know, different tech colors in my hair. So let's say I'm going to be a veterinarian. So I'm going to just hand draw. Let's go back to black. And I again, I'm not perfect, but I'm just going to kind of draw like here's an arm, and we'll cut off the hand so we don't see it. And you'll see, I'm going to make this a jacket. So it's got a big collar. We'll kind of make the jacket come out. And then I'm going to just kind of come down through here. So, and I could draw a stethoscope or something. Um, so I'm going to go up here to a paint bucket. And I'm going to zoom back in. And... And you guys see, I can go choose a paint bucket and we're going to fill this in. And one of the things I tell kids to watch for is when you're painting, I'm going to make a little leak. Sometimes if you don't complete your lines and you go up here to paint, it'll fill in everything. So hit undo and make sure that all of your lines are complete so your colors don't leak out. So that... The problem is going to be down here at the bottom. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's probably leaking out. Yep, there it is. Good call. And we should be able to fill that in. Good. So in a vet's office, um, again, like my skin tone, I might start with orange. I might edit it. I might make it a little bit, you know, peachy color. And then I can fill this in and then we could draw the hand. And again, I'm not great with hands. So maybe it's reaching out and look, here's that peach color up here that I already created. It saves them. Um, and maybe I'm wearing just kind of a green shirt underneath. It's kind of a really fashion forward bet. So I need this still. Do you think this looks like a veterinarian? Really? No. So let's start to make this look like it. So anytime you take your pet to the vet, they have the big silver table. So I'm just going to kind of draw um, a silver table. I'll fill it in. And then I can use these to make legs. And you know, you go in, it weighs your pet. So there's that. Um, and then I'm going to choose a lighter silver. And I'm going to put this up on the wall and fill this in. And here's where we can get creative. Let's say that we took our cat to the pet or to the vet and our cat um, is getting an x-ray. Let's go Google a picture of an x-ray and we put it on that silver screen and it's going to start looking like a vet's office, right? So I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to put in cat x-ray. I want you guys to be creative. You know, you have a lot of time to work on this. We're going to go to images 
and I'm gonna find one of a cat. I'm gonna copy the image. I'm gonna go back to paint. Do you guys see the paste button up here? Yeah. I'm gonna click paste and I'm just gonna resize this. And I draw a little cat there and it, uh, it's pretty much now looking like a vet. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I could start to, um, I could start to, you know, draw a cat and then, I oh, know that's not great, but it's sitting up. I don't know. But anyways, um, I could start to draw the cat and I would be about done. The main thing, I'll make it, oh, the main thing, guys, is saving. If I try to close this right now, and I saw a lot of kids last period that probably lost their work. If I try to close this, it gives me a warning. Hey, don't you want to save all this thing, all the work you've done? If I say, oh, don't save, I lost everything. So every now and then, do you guys see this purple disc? That saves it. The first time you click it, it's going to want to know where you saved it. After that, you don't have to, it won't ask anymore. So I click up there and it wants to know where to save it. I just say, save it in pictures right here. It's also on the left, either one. Just double click it, go in there, call it future, hit save, right? And now when I close it, it doesn't give me that warning. So then you come tomorrow, you go down here, you go to paint again tomorrow. You wanna keep working on it, right? This is where, you know, we had a student already that said, I started it, but I can't work on it anymore. Open paint first, go to file, go to open, click on your future, and then you can keep painting on it. When you um, want to put it onto your slides, you go to your slide seven, you go to insert image, upload from computer, and you're going to go over here to pictures and you'll see your future and it'll add it. And you can kind of make it a little bigger and you can treat this like any other picture. You can add, you know, shadows, you can add reflections, you can put borders around it. I could go up here and choose like, say, one of these gold colors and I can make it thick and kind of put a border around it. And that's how you do slide seven feature.